I'm here with my weekly favorites. This is going up super late. This last week has been so, so crazy. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you probably know that I went to Reno at the beginning of the week to meet up with Sam or Sam Sherman here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. So it was just a really fun time to go and meet somebody who I've watched for a long time and have built a really great friendship with. So that was super fun. I'm in a couple of her daily vlogging, which was fun. I was super nervous. I don't know why, because obviously I'm used to being in front of a camera, but yeah, it was like, it's different when it's somebody else's vlog. And so, yeah, I have to admit, I was a little nervous, but it was so fun. So Sam, I had so much fun meeting you in person and actually being able to hang out and have a little girly day. We also did a meetup, which was so fun. So thank you to all the girls who came to that. It was so nice to meet you and we really appreciate you guys coming out to say hi. That definitely was like the highlight and definitely a major favorite of the week. Um, I am now leaving on Tuesday to head to, um, well, I leave Wednesday morning, but I'm heading to Sacramento to fly out Wednesday morning um, to LA for BeautyCon. So I just feel like I've been traveling a lot this year. So it's just been kind of crazy. This week's just kind of like came and went and, and uh, now it's Saturday and I'm a day late on my Friday favorites. So I wanted to show you some products that I've been loving. I didn't want to show too much because you'll be seeing a haul tomorrow on Sunday. Um, Sam and I will each have a haul on our channels. And so some of the stuff that we hauled was definitely like a favorite, but I didn't want to give away anything really that we bought. So I tried to kind of keep those out of this video. But yeah, so I just have a few things that I've really been liking this week. Um, the first is my necklace. It is so cute. I am in California and it's a little California necklace and it's, um, they're handmade uh, and it's a little like piece of wood and it's got a little heart on it, which I think close to where that heart is, is somewhere near Redding. So that works pretty, pretty well. So I really love that. Um, I got it off of Jewel Mint. I will leave my link down below if you're interested. They have a bunch of different states too. So obviously if you're not from California, um, they had, I don't know if they have all 50 states on there, but I know that they had quite a few. So um, if you're interested in getting like a little state necklace, um, they have those on Jewel Mint. So I really like that. And um, I bought that, ooh, when did I buy it? A couple weeks ago. And it took a couple weeks to come in because they are handmade. So I just got that about a week and a half ago and I've just been loving it. So that's a favorite too. Um, okay, face products. My go-to foundation lately has really been the Urban Decay Naked Foundation. As you know, um, Urban Decay had sent me um, two shades that were too light and I was really wanting to try it. So I went on, um, on the Urban Decay website and actually just bought the um, correct shade, which is 5.0. I'm wearing it today with the Soleil, why do I call it Soleil? Bourgeois Bronzing Primer. Oh, because it says Base Le Sante Soleil. Sure. A lot of you have asked um, to do a video of the, comparing this to the Chanel one. This is actually a primer. So I don't ever use my Bronze Universal from Chanel as a primer. I use that as a cream bronzer. And this I use as a primer. I mean, I slap this baby all over my face. It's a little crazy looking because it is super bronze and it's super dark. Um, I think I've already done a swatch for you, but I'll do another one. Um, I mean, it is dark. I mean, you can see it definitely has color to it, but it blends beautifully into the skin. The smell of it, is this as an addictive fragrance? It does, it's so nice, but it fills in all your pores. Your skin just feels so smooth. And it's really great if you have foundations that are maybe a titch too light for you. Um, you could just put this on and then put your foundation over it and it just blends beautifully. So I use this as an actual primer, not as a um, like cream bronzer like I do the Bronze Universal. So hope, hopefully that answered anyone's question um, regarding that. But yes, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation has just been a total winner for me. I absolutely love it. It feels so light on the skin and um, blends beautifully, gives great coverage. So I love this and I apply it with my beauty blender. Okay. The bronzer that I've been using ever since I like got over my whole other bronzer, whatever was going on with my skin, Fiasco has been my Tarte Amazonian Clay bronzer. This is in Park Avenue Princess. It's their matte one. I love it. It's a great bronzer for contouring or bronzing up your face. It's kind of that cooler toned bronzer, so it's not orangey whatsoever. Um, and it's really funny because when I was in Sephora this weekend with Sam, I was swatching the Marc Jacobs 
bronzer from the new Marc Jacobs makeup line and I really loved it but then I swatched it next to this and I found I preferred this color on my skin better so that saved me some money from buying the Marc Jacobs one because I already owned this one but I really love this bronzer it's great um, like I said it's matte and I'm also wearing that today I was able to purchase some of the Sephora Outrageous Prismas, Prismachrome eyeshadows, which I was so excited about because they came back online for like a very short period of time, I guess. So I purchased the Metallic Beige, the Metallic Purple, and the Metallic Peach. I'm wearing this one today. This is the Metallic Beige, and I have it over the Maybelline Bad to the Bronze um, cream shadow color tattoo. I really love it. It's a beautiful metallic beige color. I don't know. I think it's more champagne, but it's super beautiful. I just love metallics, especially in the fall winter time. I think metallics are gorgeous, especially with bold, bright, um, or berry lips. So I'm wearing that today. Really love that. Um, a palette, this just actually just came to Reading. So which is weird because the, the other one that came in this limited edition set we got this summer, but this I never saw this one. So I recently went to, where was it that I saw that? Rite Aid? Rite Aid or Walgreens? It, which we never get these at Rite Aid or Walgreens. I think it was Walgreens. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, Rite Aid, Rite Aid. I went to Rite Aid, <laughs> woo! So I went to Rite Aid, which I never see limited edition Wet n Wild stuff there. And they had this. This is the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening palette. There was a ton of dupes for the Urban Decay Naked palette or Naked 2 palette. I'm not sure which one. I think the Naked. Um, but anyways, I was so bummed that we never got this in Rite Aid because we never get any limited edition Wet n Wild stuff. But I got this and I've really been loving it. The colors are super beautiful. Um, so if you're in the Reading area and you are interested in picking this up, um, I found mine at Rite Aid. So maybe you guys will find yours in your Rite Aids. Maybe they're coming back out with them. I'm not too sure. But I've been loving that. I don't know if I mentioned last week the Physicians Formula Liquid Liner. I've been wearing this uh, basically every day. Um, it's just a liquid eyeliner. It has a super fine tip, so it makes it really easy to get right up close to the lash line and do a really fine, precise line. Really love this. I've purchased many of these. So um, I'm kind of using this instead of my Fabu Liner lately from Jordana, but I love that. Um, a mascara that I recently discovered. I think that I've... Tried this before and didn't love it, but for some reason I've been really liking it this week. I'm wearing it today. It is the Lancome Hypnos Star, I think. Yeah, Hypnos Star in um, just black, Noir Midnight. It's got a cone-shaped wand, but which I usually don't care for the cone-shaped ones because I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like the way it applies to my lashes as much. But this one is really nice. It grabs my lashes really well. It adds a lot of length and separates them really nicely. So I've been liking that. I've been using it uh, most of this week. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I'd ever purchase a full size. There's very few high-end mascaras. Sorry. There's very few high-end mascaras that I really love that I would even consider purchasing the full size. But um, this was nice. But, you know, it's a favorite. But I don't think I'd purchase a big one. Um, okay, one thing that I have to mention, and you're going to see it in my haul tomorrow, the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Powder Foundation. This is in medium 57, which I was like super surprised I was that dark of a shade, but the powders run super light. Um, I'm wearing it today. It is a beautiful, like full coverage powder. It's so nice. So if you are wearing something that is really lightweight, minimal coverage, but you want just a tiny bit of coverage without adding like a ton more of foundation or, you know, liquid products. This is really great. It's not cakey. I just dusted on with a kabuki brush. It like smooths and fills out my pores and it just gives you that flawless finish. I absolutely love this. It's a newer product from Kat Von D, new to Sephora. Um, again, medium 57 and it's their powder. I highly recommend checking it out. It is awesome. I really, really love it. And you'll see it in the um, haul tomorrow. Okay, um, the last few favorites. Um, these are two products from Becca. This first one is the Becca Blush in Gypsy, and I have heard so many people talk about it. I'm pretty sure the two people that I know talked about it was um, my really good friend, my YouTube bestie, Laura, or Mrs. Lola Lynn. I will link her down below. And I'm almost positive that um, my friend Elise or Bubblegum Princess also spoke about this blush, and this is the one in Gypsy, like I said. And it is just such a beautiful blush. It's, um, I don't know, it's pink. It's a pink blush, like a very, very light baby pink blush, but it has like a beautiful, like almost golden 
duochrome. So it's not like a coral blush with gold, but it's like a pink, light baby pink with like this gold duochrome reflex. It's really beautiful and it looks gorgeous on the cheeks. Um, Becca's a little bit pricier. You can find it at Sephora or on the Becca website, but it's absolutely so stunningly gorgeous. One of the most unique blush colors that I have and it's just super pretty. I don't have any other blushes that have that same kind of um, like sheen to it. I have a lot of baby pink ones, just they're mostly matte. So this is really pretty. So it's not glitter, it's like a beautiful sheen. And then I also have been using, and I'm wearing this today, the, sorry they're doing construction, if you can hear that um, staple gun or whatever it's called, drill gun, nail gun, yeah. They're probably not stapling anything, so nail gun. Um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder. And this is in the shade Moonstone. Now you guys know I love my Becca Skin Perfector, like the liquid illuminators that come in the big old things. Um, I think I have one in Moonbeam. Is it Moonbeam or Moonstone? It might be Moonstone. This is what it looks like. Um, like I said, I'm wearing it today. It's a beautiful, more of a um, yellow toned, you can see it right here, just beautiful reflect. More of a yellow toned highlighter, and again, I'm wearing that right on my cheekbones today. I just used a e.l.f. tapered brush, I think, yeah, small tapered brush, and I just kind of put it right on there, and it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. It's very, very silky feeling, um, not powdery. It's not, I tried to put that back in there by throwing it. Um, it's not glittery or any fallout. It's just a beautiful sheen and it's very like subtle looking in person. I know it always picks up a little more intense in the light because um, I have lights on me, but yeah, it's really, really beautiful. So I um, highly recommend checking out these Becca products again or Becca com or BeccaCosmetics.com, so love those. The blush that I'm wearing right now that I've fallen back in love with is, these are my some of my Tarte blushes. Um, my Tarte blush in Exposed. This is just one of those like, kind of looks like nothing color when you swatch it. I don't know if you're gonna see that. But when it goes on your cheeks, it, it's so beautiful. I honestly don't know anybody who has not like Exposed blush. And now that I say that, I know one person or like 10 people will be like, I don't like Exposed blushes, but whatever. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful natural color. Like I said, I'm wearing that today. Um, I think it looks flattering on everybody. And so um, I know I've really neglected my Tarte blushes lately, so I kind of am pulling them out. Um, I'm gonna pull them out for this next week when I'm down in LA. So really love that exposed one, it's super pretty. And I, I have a video swatching and showing my whole Tarte blush collection, so if I remember, I will link that down below as well. So love that. And then that's pretty much all for my favorites, but I wanted to show you, I know I mentioned in my Urban Decay, um, haul swatch review thing that I put in an order for a lot more lipsticks and lip colors. So I ordered some off the Urban Decay website and I wanted to show you those swatches really quick because I know sometimes it's hard to see swatches online and sometimes videos kind of portray them a little bit better. So I picked up a slew <laughs> for crap ton, a lot, many, plethora, a lot of um, lipsticks, more lipsticks, because I think I got three before, and then I picked up three liners. So I want to share them with you so you can see the swatches. If you haven't seen my Urban Decay video that shows all the original swatches of the stuff I had got from Urban Decay, um, I'll link it down below. But yeah, and then I also did purchase the powders. They're sitting right there, and the medium light and the medium shade, and I love them. They're so silky and nice. So um, those I also purchased too, but I'm not gonna really swatch the powder. So um, let me swatch the liners really quick. The first one is the shade Liar, and I have that on today, like the outer, outer part of my lid. I mean, the outer part of my lid, the outer part of my lips. And then I filled in my lips with Native, which um, is a really nice light, light pink. And then the other color I got, I don't think this is the one they sent me, Turn On. I think that's the one that I bought. Um, so let me show you those. Liar, Native, and Turn On. I have these two shades on right now. Lipsticks, I bought a ton more lipsticks and these are all basically really new lipsticks. Um, I just did an Instagram sale. I have some stuff that's still available for sale, so check out my Instagram, it's just Shades of Cassie. I was gonna link it down below, but I can't really link an Instagram account. Um, Shades of Cassie, so if you're interested, I have some stuff still available. I cleared out a ton of foundations that are just too light for me um, that I wanna give a good home to, so uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So I got rid of a ton of lip products, a ton of nude lipsticks that just 
either didn't look good on me, I swatched and they just weren't my color, or I just never used. I mean, so much stuff I had never even opened. So I got a lot of these because I really love the formula of these. So I purchased the one in Jilted. I have the lip liner in Jilted. Um, this is not a nude. I have the lip liner in Jilted that, um, you know, I got as a press sample. So um, I loved it so much that I got the lipstick. So this is Jilted and I'll do a closer up swatch. Um, the next one I got was Turn On because I wanted it to go with the lip liner. So it's just a really beautiful like pinky, like a deeper pinky nude. Very wearable, like, like natural pink. Like not quite nude, but it's not like a super bright. It's like a very natural, beautiful, like easy to wear pink. I also got the color Rush, which I think, oh yeah, I have Rush on as well. Rush lipstick on over those lip liners. The lip liner in Obsessed. Um, in my press sample, it's in that video. Love that lip liner so much, I bought the lipstick in Obsessed. I'm obsessed with Obsessed. Also got this color called Fiend, and this is a really pretty, like, mauve natural color. That sounds good. <laughs> this next one is Naked, and I have the Naked lip liner and I really love it. So this is really pretty. It's like a pinky nude, really love it. And then this. over the lip liners and the color Rush, I also have the lipstick in Native on and it's super, super pretty, like a pinky, another pinky nude. So yeah, that was my favorites. I don't feel like there was a ton. I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun favorites next week, but I'll probably be filming that at Trisha's house when I'm there. So I might have a new background then. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you those because I know I mentioned them and a lot of people have asked about the swatches and really enjoyed the Urban Decay Naked haul video that I did, so I wanted to show you the stuff that I bought and the swatches. So here they all are. All pinks, all ranging from like nude to like this bright one. So I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you um, have a awesome weekend. By the time you watch this, your weekend may be close to being over, so I hope you have a good next week. If you're coming to BeautyCon this week, I hope to meet you. Please come say hi. I would love to um, meet you and give you a hug. I'm a total hugger, so beware for that. And yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.